Hey Virgo, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Tuesday, April 20th. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. At the heart of your reading, we have the Hermit reversed. Coming out of hiding, coming out of seclusion, connecting with others. This is also Virgo energy. You're showing up front and center in your own reading. Your challenge is the Nine of Cups. Are you uncertain about what to wish for? Are you uncertain about what you want? Hmm. It could be that you've been pretty isolated from other people for a while now due to the due to the pandemic and you are still in a state of figuring out how you would want to be social or connect or get out of the house. Like, how do I feel about vaccinations? Or um, should I even try to arrange a get together with friends? Would that be responsible? Or um, would it make sense for me to travel to visit my family? It's these sorts of like, what should I wish for scenarios. Your focus is on the Ten of Wands reversed. Your, your hermit energy, you're done with it. You're over it. It's been exhausting for you. You've had quite enough of alone time. Thank you very much. You're ready to get back into your regular life. In the recent past, we have the sun. Optimism creeping in, starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel, starting to see how things are going to get better soon. And with that comes the thought, oh, well, now I can make plans. Now I can figure out what I want. What do I even want to do? I haven't thought about what I wanted. I've just been kind of, you know, a repetitive existence for like the last year. Your environment energy is the Eight of Cups reversed. Whatever you had to walk away from or put on hold um, when this uh, kind of downturn in social connection ha started. Um, spirit is wanting you to start feeling like getting back into the swing of things. It could mean actually um, a desire, you might be feeling a desire to return somewhere. Let's take a, a look at the near future. Ooh, lover's energy in the near future. Huh. Okay, so if you're in a relationship, I suspect that either things have gotten stale, like if you're living together, you might just be kind of like, uh, getting on each other's nerves because you've been cooped up in the house alone too long. You might plan like a, a lover's retreat or like a weekend away somewhere to reignite the spark and get the passion back in your relationship. If you are single and have been living alone, then your some of your plans will likely include an opportunity to connect with someone that you're interested in. And I think that's going to be a positive experience for you. Show me. Surprise energy. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Um, I, 
this is interesting the way they're giving it to me. I think for most of you, what they're trying to say here is that you don't think you're going to be able to get the time off work, but you will. There's some unique, either a new offer that's going to be made, like um, extra vacation days or using your sick days for vacation days or some sort of extended leave program. Spirit, that's a lot. Can you slow down, please? Yeah, okay. Um, they're giving me that what they're really trying to say here for everyone is um, time off work, time away from work somehow. If you're not working right now, this is going to indicate a change of jobs, but it won't be um, like what, what they were trying to convey yeah, kind of all at once was that um, for some of you, it's going to be this um, unusual offer that the employer makes. For others of you, it's going to be like your boss uh, allows you to take unpaid time off when they normally wouldn't approve something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was just checking in to see if it had anything to do with a change of employment, and they, they say no, that's not what they're getting at here. Let's see your sur no hopes and fears. Your hopes and fears. We have the page of cups in reverse. You hope that you're not being naive. Huh. What? Okay, it's definitely naivete that they're getting at. You hope that it's not going to be the case. For some of you, you're directing that energy at yourself. For others of you, you are directing that energy at someone else that you're interested in. Kind of like um, if it's someone else, it might be something like... Uh, I hope they don't fall in love with me on the first date. Like, I hope that they're not that that emotionally immature or that naive. I hope that they're a bit more emotionally responsible and um, measured. If this is directed at yourself, you don't want to be played for a fool. I'm getting the energy of like putting your faith and trust in someone and really hoping that you don't regret it. The end result, we have the Ten of Swords. Whatever you are looking to end or release here, which is likely tied to your, your isolation, your solitude, your hermitness, um, you're going to be able to release that. It's going to be done once and for all and you'll be ready to move forward with uh, working toward what your wish is. And potentially going back to somewhere that you had left behind, like you put it on pause. Yeah, this, this thing that you put on pause, you're gonna get another opportunity to go back to it if you want to. Two aces here, ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, ace of cups in reverse. This, this indicates the the pause nature of like what you had to put on hold and walk away from that you're now feeling like oh maybe I maybe I should go back maybe I want to go back let me feel that out let me investigate could be going back to a job going back to a relationship going back to a place so Virgo I hope that helped enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow bye